transport enthusiasts here and in this OMSI2 tutorial video I'm going to be showing you how you can optimize your OMSI2 game in order to run Adan London to the best of your PC's ability. So I'm going to be showing you the best settings that you should have in order to run OMSI2 Adan London. Now these settings are based off the manual and based off the developer's recommendations themselves. So this should basically help you run the game as best as possible. The first most important thing you need to do is you need to make sure you have the 4GB patch installed. So what you want to do is you want to download the 4GB patch from the link in the description. Alternatively, you can join the Discord server and get all the links to this stuff there as well. So you're just going to download this. This is going to take about not even a few seconds to download. Then you want to open up the patch exe. You want to click yes. And then what you want to do is you want to patch OMC2. So you want to go into your OMC2 folder like so. So your OMC2 folder, it's the, your directory, it's program files times 86, steam, so it's this PC, uh, then it's program files times 86, steam, steam apps, common OMC2. Once you're in there, what you want to do is you want to click on OMC2, and when you click on OMC2, it's going to click open, like so, and then it's going to say executable pa uh, successfully patched, and you just click OK. And now the 4 gigabyte patch is installed. So that's the most important thing. This should get away. This should basically solve any memory issues you're having, any invisible cars that are appearing, any white textures. So this is crucial. Though. Since OMSI2 add-on is an expansive map, you need to make sure you have the add-on. Next, let's take a look at the settings. So I'm going to open up OMSI2, and then what I will do is, once this is loaded up, I will come get back to you and show you the settings. So I shall see you in a few moments. So hello everyone, now we're back into the OMS, now we're into OMC2, so now I'm going to show you the best settings for add-on London. So what we want to do is if we go into our option settings here, and you go into graphics, the settings they recommend first of all is to have your real-time reflections on economy, this is a uh, fairly given with OMC2, having your reflections set to full is just going to induce a uh, needless lag. Then as well, in addition to that, they also recommend turning the particle system off, this is basically just your exhaust fumes, and it's uh, mainly to do with a uh, kind of small... Um, detailed as, uh, animations regarding basically particles that kind of stuff so again turn this off if you're having issues in that regard the stencil buffer effect is also recommended to be off if you're having performance issues if we take a look into graphics advanced what they recommend is that you keep your max uh, uh, max textures for memory between 10,024 to 4,096 so that's between one gigabyte to four gigabyte. This is based on your GPU. So basically, if you have a four gigabyte VRAM GPU, you can bump this up. If you have an eight gigabyte VRAM GPU, you can bump this up even further. However, I know a lot of people are running uh, OMSI2 on a laptop with integrated graphics, uh, basically without a GPU, or people are running this on a PC without a GPU. Then you want to turn this down low because if you don't have a GPU, uh, this is basically going to strain your system. So if you're running on a laptop, if you're running on integrated graphics, that means Intel. Um, Intel, uh, Intel HD graphics, or it means uh, 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 Radeon Vega, some Radeon Vega graphics, then you want to turn this down to probably around 400. Okay, uh, and then if we take a look, the next thing they recommend is that, try to find where they say this, because, uh, okay. So then if you go into AI traffic, what they recommend is you have your AI traffic uh, set to about 130. So you see mine is set a bit higher, but again, uh, the AI traffic is kind of, it's very um, demanding on your CPU. So if you are struggling, you want to turn this to the left. They recommend 150, but you might uh, need to turn this down even further. Oh, I think they recommend 130. Then you want to have your AI traffic growth factor to 50%. You want to have your um, parked cars to about 50%, but I have mine on 35%. Human max count, this can be set to uh, 500, it's recommended here, but you know, I have mine to 141, might bump this up a bit further. Uh, then what we want to do is, it says, uh, factor passengers uh, per station, this is 100%, if we bump this down lower, it's going to make it a bit less realistic. And then your schedule priority, so basically, if you're experiencing lag, the AI is very well optimized, the AI buses are very well optimized comparable to others, but if you're experiencing lag, you want to turn the schedule buses, uh, the schedule AI buses to the left and also you might want to turn down the schedule priority. One thing to bear in mind here is that in order to see the AI change, the schedule priority has to be set to 4. But again, if you're having a lag, you might want to turn this down and forego the AI trains. Those are the recommended settings that they have in the manual and basically they kind of go, they are, uh, go in line with this is, they do go in line with the general, with what's generally recommended by OMC2 themselves. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you want uh, more help with anything, you can always comment down in the comment section down below, or you can join our Discord server. 
link which uh, the link to which is in the description we have a help section there with many people who are willing to help do make sure to subscribe to the channel for more omc2 wild and london tutorials as well as other omc2 wild and videos and other simulation games do hit, hit that thumbs up button if you found this do hit the thumbs up button if you found this video helpful that's it for now until next time